This. Ah, I love camping. Of course, I can't go outside because she won't let me. But I can up shove my little tent here and get some peace and quiet. Oh, vomitifications! That's the moon howler looking for a guzzle snack. Probably me. Oh, <laughs> I hate camping. I hate it. <laughs> oh, but I like unfortunates. Yeah, up they come, up to the tower. Just think, if this fragile rope was to break, it would be a disaster, because we'd have to buy a new rope. <laughs> this batch of unfortunates are from Bath. There's Alex, who comes from Mars. Francesca, she hates being called Dave. Dylan, he's faster than a ham sandwich. That's Holly, she collects empty milk cartons. Lieben, he has a head full of porridge. And Polly, who invented time travel. In they go. <laughs> this is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. For years, Bob and Kraft full of unfortunates have been coming to the tower. Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest remain trapped. Floor six, goblet of ice. <laughs> I hope they've wrapped up warm for this one. Snow joke. In this challenge, unfortunates must carry snow across the icy stepping stones and fill the goblet of ice. But it's not that easy. The stones are deadly slippery and there's a monstrous gale blowing. It's windier than a plate full of baked beans. What's more, if so much as a toe slips off them stepping stones, the goblet will tip up and empty out all the snow they've collected. So they'll have to start all over again. <laughs> Who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick the saboteur! Holly, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only one who can hear my voice. It is your job to make sure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the goblet is not full at the end of 90 seconds. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, if Holly wants to escape, she has to make sure the team slip up. Ha-ha! <laughs> Unfortunates! This is Goblet of Ice. To pass, the goblet must be full at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Remember, Holly, if you tread on the ice, the goblet will tip over. Let the others go in front of you. They're less likely to spot you. The trick with this game is timing. Pick the right time to tip the goblet. Then the others won't see you. Nicely done, Holly. Now wait for the goblet to fill up. Then you can strike again. Keep moving. You look like you're playing along. 60 seconds. Francesca was right behind you. She might have seen you. Be more careful next time. That's it. Take your snow towards the goblet. They'll think you want the goblet for. Francesca's right behind you. Don't do anything risky. Good. Now you look like part of the team. You need to do something. Remember, Francesca's right there. Be careful. You're going to have to lose her. 30 seconds. Oh, no. The goblet's overflowing. After collecting your snow, let Francesca go in front. Then pick your moment to sabotage. But check who's watching. That's it, but you'll have to do it again before the end. Tell your teammates to hurry up! Quick, Time's running out, Holly. You've got to tip it again! Eight, Excellent, Holly. Seven, oh, six, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Your time is up. You have failed. Looks like the team have failed! 
But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Holly, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was definitely Polly because she was going quite slowly when the time was running out. Lieben, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Dylan because when I saw him pouring the snow, his foot was on the floor. Polly? I think it was Holly because she looked quite suspicious on two steps. Alex? I think it was Lieben because I never really saw him helping the team get ice into the goblet. Francesca? I think it was Dylan because he wasn't trying his hardest and he kept putting his foot down. Dylan? I think it was Holly because at the last second she put her foot down. You have voted for Dylan and Holly. Oh, get the draw straws out! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Dylan, you have drawn the short straw. Therefore, you are the unlucky one. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Holly. Dylan, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. <gasps> Ruined it and got away with it, but only by the skin of her teeth. Phew! <laughs> Dylan, how do you feel about being trapped? A bit annoyed because it was on the first level. Poor unfortunate Dylan. You're trapped! <laughs> yeah. Poor Dylan, but he'll have all the time in the world to fill that goblet now. Floor five, fairy trial. For the little people, it's Judgment Day. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must place the fairy traps into the exterminator so they can get a real good look at them. If they decide it's a good fairy, they must release it. If they decide it's a bad fairy, they must blow it up. If they guess wrong three times, they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur. Alex, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by convincing the others to identify the fairies incorrectly. You must release the bad fairies and exterminate the good fairies. All the bad fairies have happy faces. You must release them. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Can Alex make the team fail and get one floor closer to freedom? Unfortunates, this is fairy trials. To pass, you must correctly identify three fairies. Let the challenge begin now. Just take a box. Remember, Alex, the bad fairies will look happy. These are the ones you must release. Here comes the first one. She's a good fairy. You need to blow her up. Good, because yeah, I pink. think it looks good. Say something to change their minds. No, she's got she's, she's got, got like devil. red everywhere, and she doesn't she's look got, very. She looks like a devil. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. She just smudged a bit. Smiled. I think she's yeah. a bad fairy. Yeah. Agree, she's bad. I, I agree. I think she's a bad. Bad. Yeah. Blow up. Okay. Oh dear. Remember, Polly led that one. Pick another one. Just pick another one. You're doing well, Alex, but make sure they don't suspect you. Right, here comes the next one. She's a bad fairy. Convince them to release her. What do you think, guys? Say she's smiling. Oh, she's smiling. Let's see if they agree with you. Uh, she looks quite good. Yeah, yeah and good. she kind of yeah. looks like she's evil. Yeah. A bit, a bit Do you think good, everyone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they 
Get going for it! You only need one more. Concentrate. Come on, we have to get this right, guys. No, they have to get it wrong. <laughs> right, this is it. Another bad one. They have to think she's good. Be good, because everyone, everything else is bad. Great, Polly's doing your job for you. Yeah, good. That looks good. Actually, wait. I'm sure. No, okay, good. What is Polly doing? She's sounding very suspicious. Oh, no! Your time is up. You have failed. Oh, nicely done. But has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Lieben. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Polly, because she kept choosing the wrong ones. Polly? I think it was Alex, because he didn't like joining that much. Alex? I thought it was Polly, because on the first and last go, she kept getting it wrong. Francesca? I think it was Polly, because when we got one wrong, she said yes to it. Holly? I think the saboteur was Lieben because when we got one wrong, he was smiling. You have voted for Polly. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Alex. Oh my gosh. Polly, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. What a crafty unfortunate! They made being sneaky and sly! How do you feel about being trapped? Quite upset because I picked the right saboteur and all the rest, well, most of the rest picked me. Poor unfortunate Polly. You're trapped! <laughs> Polly knew who the saboteur was, but that didn't stop her getting trapped. <laughs> Floor four, two-faced liar! Meet Madame Dervisage, the two-faced liar. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must listen to Madame's reflection make statements. They must decide if they are true or false. If they get three right, they will pass. But get three wrong, and they will fail. Now, which unfortunate will want the team to believe those lies? Francesca, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure your team answer the questions incorrectly. I will give you the answers each time. It's up to you how you use this information. If Francesca succeeds, she could be lying her way to freedom. Unfortunate! This is Two-Faced Liar. To pass, you must guess correctly three times. Let the challenge begin! Now! Mange tout! You are grotesque! Who dressed you this morning? I will give you a statement. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes madam. Pogonophobia is the fear of beards. Is this true or false? Um, it's I true, Francesca. I think it's false. Ask them what they think. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's false. True. 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 Persuade them. Okay. You think it is true? Let us find out. Oui, it is true. Don't panic. It's not over yet. We have the next statement. Some worms will eat themselves if they can't find any food. This is true. Convince them it's false. 
Speak up. False. 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 True. I reckon it's true because Leland's heard it before, I think. Ask them what they think. True. That's what they think. No, I said ask them what think they think. True. Are you sure you've heard of it, Leland? Um, yeah. OK, uh, let this one go. Even if sure OK, I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. True. You are going with Drew. Yeah. yeah. Let us see. We. Oui, it is Drew. React. You only need one more to pass. Pay attention very carefully. Here is your next statement. The most expensive bottle of perfume in the world costs 500,000 pounds. You mm. must get this or you're trapped. It's false. 500,000 is a lot for perfume. But perfume's expensive. Yeah, true, because sometimes um, perfume can be a bit expensive because sometimes it really smells nice. Keep going. Well, Fran, I really don't reckon it's true. That is false. Say something. Come on! You're going for false. False. Francesca! Oh no, you're too late! Oui! It is false. <laughs> Your time is up. You have passed. I don't think things can get much worse. Or can they? You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Alex, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Francesca, because she kept disagreeing with us when we were getting the answers right. Francesca. I thought it was Lieber because he wasn't really helping that much. Holly. I think the saboteur was Francesca because when we were getting the answers right, she kept disagreeing with us. Lieber. I think the saboteur was Francesca because she kept disagreeing with us. You have voted for Francesca. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Francesca. Francesca, you failed to sabotage the challenge, and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, they failed to sabotage and failed to hide their identity. Double trouble. <laughs> Francesca, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I think it was a bit obvious that it, that it was me and I think I gave it away too much. Poor unfortunate Francesca. You're trapped. <laughs> so, Francesca is left to be eternally pampered by Madame. That'll teach you for giving the game away. Floor three, Camp Fear. This campfire is not one for singing around, it's one for screaming around. Oh. Pitch your tents if you dare. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must find nine pieces of wood and assemble the campfire. Once built, they must take shelter and rest. But beware, if someone puts the fire out, the moon howler will appear. They must keep the beast at bay and quickly build the fire in time, or they will fail. There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick the saboteur. Lieben, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the fire is not built at the end of two minutes. Remember, as soon as you put out the fire, you will have just seven seconds to destroy it and get back to your tent. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. 
So, Lieben is the next saboteur. Oh, I can't wait. Unfortunates. This is Camp Fear. To pass, the fire must be complete at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! That's it, Lieben. Help build the fire. You must look like you're part of the team. Don't be too slow. You don't want them to suspect you. Right, the fire's complete. Now back into your tent. Okay, the coast is clear. Out you come, Lieben. First, extinguish the fire. Then you have seven seconds to destroy it. Put the fire out, Lieben. That's it. Don't be frightened of the moon, Howler. Just get rid of those logs. Back into your tent, Lieben. No, Lieben! Don't be the first one out! Get back! Back! Okay, out now. Build up the fire again. Lieben, next time you must make things more difficult for them. Now, get back into your tent and wait! Quickly! Out you come. 60 seconds. If you move the locks further away from the fire, it'll take longer to rebuild. I said further away, Lieben. Where are you going? Listen to me. Look, you've got more time. Wait. Here they come. Out, out, quickly. They're building it too quickly. Next time, Lieben, you really need to slow them down. Or they'll pass. Wait. OK, out now. 30 seconds. This time, move the logs further away from the fire. Good, good. Drop the extinguisher next to someone else's tent. They'll think someone else is the saboteur. Great. <laughs> yes. The others are out. Lieben, come on. You haven't got time to rebuild the fire and go back into your tent. Try and slow them down, Lieben. Do something. Hide a log, anything. Two, one. Yes. I got it. Your time is up. You have passed. Oh, the team have passed. Boring! You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Holly, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Lieben because there was a lot of rustling coming from that side. Lieben. I think the saboteur was Holly because the fire extinguisher was near her tent. Alex. I think it was Lieben because he didn't look that happy when we passed. You have voted for Lieben. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Lieben. Lieben, you failed to sabotage the challenge and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Diddy, diddy, doo doo. Lieben, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I made a lot of rustling and I wasn't quick enough to extinguish the fire. Poor, unfortunate Lieben. Oh! You're trapped! <laughs> Lieben will be trapped in a campsite forever. Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! To win the key of freedom, unfortunates must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win, and they'll escape. Lose, and they'll be trapped. <laughs> I'm so excited, a little bit of sick came up. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now! Holly, 
Which unfortunate drew the short straw on floor six? Dylan. Correct. Alex, how many fairy judgments did you get wrong? Too slow, three. Holly, where did you hide when the fire was built in Camp Fear? In the tent. Correct. Alex, who got trapped with Madame de Bazage? Francesca. Correct. Holly, which unfortunate pulled the lever on the fairy exterminator? Me. Correct. Alex, how many goblets were you trying to fill in Goblet of Ice? One. Correct. Holly, who was the saboteur in Fairy Trials? Um... Too slow. Alex, what did the saboteur use to put out the fire in Camp Fear? An extinguisher. Correct. Holly, which game was played on Floor 3? Pause. Camp Fear. Alex, what creature did Madame de Visage have in her hair? A bird. Correct. Alex and Holly, your time is up. Alex, you answered four questions correctly. Holly, you answered three questions correctly. Alex, you are the winner. Congratulations. Holly, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel quite annoyed, but I'm really glad I got this far. Poor unfortunate Holly. You're trapped! Alex, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Ah, there goes Alex, free from the tower. Well, I can get back to my camping. The unfortunates lit a fire to scarify the moon howler, but I found a much more cleversome method to keep him away. A smelly old sock. Perfect. Now then, you lot had better scram, because you don't want to get... 